there's still a lot of questions in the Jay Slater case, and too many things not adding up to just let this case go. Besides, there is an open inquest, which means that just because Jay's funeral is over, the case is still open. There is no inquest hearing date set yet, and it's obviously not been concluded, so it could definitely take some time. I hope the way they identified Jay will be properly looked at, since I don't get how they identified him using his fingerprints, after his body was out there for all that time. Why not dental records? Was his teeth knocked out and wasn't found? Was there a fight and Jay's teeth got knocked out, and then he was thrown down that cliff? Makes you wonder. Why would police go on fingerprints if they had another option? Anyway, while watching Brad's interview, I noticed that he had an unusual black circle around his eye, that almost looks like a black eye. It's not a shadow, I mean he is clearly moving around in that interview, and the black circle remains there. It's only on his one eye. Here's a filter over it to make it more visible, but it can be seen in the original interview too. Was there a fight that took place in Tenerife? Anyway, I then came across a channel called 1111 True Crime. I was absolutely shocked with what I saw. Remember this picture that Lucy posted with Jay? Let's take a closer look at it, and these bruises were pointed out by 1111 True Crime. Look at Jay's eyes, and by his mouth. Those look like definite bruises. Some also say that it could be shadows, or maybe Lucy was using a filter, and it just showed up weird on Jay's face. It happens, but this just looks really odd to me. Makes me wonder if Jay and his friends were maybe beat up for losing the bag and drugs, but of course Jay paid the ultimate price because it was his bag. What do you guys think? Are those bruises or shadows? Remember the footage of the possible fight on the beach, with the limping man, that looked like he was badly hurt? Could things be coming together by online sleuths? Drop your thoughts down below.